Hey everyone, it's me, and I look really tired. <laughs> Doesn't help that my hair is a bit disheveled today, but I just look really tired today. Anyways, today is a topic about specific pet ownership over this little, oh my goodness, this girl right here. I hope you can see her because I can't see. Yep, right there. As you see, she's settling in pretty well. My goodness, I think she's looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry if I got distracted there. I had to look at her. And it's been about a month since we'd have her. Had her. Yeah, it's been a month. And so, as even though Robin and I are still learning a lot from, you know, owning a snake for the very first time, I will say this thing. Say this thing. If you want a low maintenance pet, oh Robin just came out of the bathroom. If you want a low maintenance pet, a snake is definitely a good one to to have, right Robin? Mm -hmm. A you snake I'm making a vlog. Oh. Snakes are a good pet for low maintenance people, right? Compared to a dog. Are you gonna do anything? <laughs> Well, thanks for your contribution. <laughs> he's, he's smiling at me, but he's not reacting at all to the camera. But yes, snakes are a good, low-maintenance uh, pet to have. However, if you're expecting lots of cuddles and playtime, maybe not the best pet for you, because they're not dogs. <laughs> dogs will actually show love back. For Perrin, though, she, you know, obviously cuddles are not how reptiles show love. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Um, but yeah, if you don't care about, like, cuddle time and stuff like that, then yeah, they're pretty good. But if you're expecting them to act like a dog, you're, your ex expectations are too high. Right, I mean, Robin? you're speaking for yourself. She loves cuddling with me. <laughs> but I mean, like, she obviously parents not like a dog. No, obviously. Yeah. But she also doesn't need to go outside, so... That's true. She only feeds once <laughs> a week. Sorry, I just realized the motion that I did. Oh. not a dog she will not show affection that way some snakes do enjoy handling she's kind of meh she really just likes you for your warmth that's really it <laughs> but then she gets bored and wants to explore that's how she is not all corn snakes are like this um but that's how much you have to expect with corn snakes on corn snakes like climbing and some like tunneling ours Just like later. yep ours likes tunneling we want the stick that's in her tank right there, we had it positioned so that she could climb on it. But she never used it. Oops, so I flipped it around, and now she uses it, because it's not far off the ground. But then she explores the top, and we're like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's true. But yeah. So within our first month of having Perrin, I say things are going well. We like having a pet that we don't have to take outside every day. And worry about or ever. <laughs> or ever or worry about you know feeding and pooping because it only happens like once a week so really that's pretty good you know um so yeah if you want a snake um yeah go for a snake yeah i say go for it just um don't expect a lot of affection being shown back because reptiles are not like that. <laughs> so, anyways. I'm done rambling now. Bye, everyone.